Hey guys, so what does the future of Magic the Gathering hold? I do not know, and I don't think anyone actually knows. I think at the end of the day, um, I have been enjoying Magic a lot more. That I don't have a game store. I actually opened a hundred packs of Dominaria just uh, yesterday. And it was fun. It was a lot of fun. And you won't believe the card that we were trying to hunt was called Rat Colony. Which, uh, according to uh, Card Kingdom, is a $4 common, which is crazy. I didn't even know the, the card existed. Uh, it's one of those rat cards where you can get infinite amount of them in your deck, right? And my friend wanted a bunch of them. And I said, okay, let's open. I got a lot of Dominaria. Let's open the product. At first, I thought it was Dominaria United. We opened a few of those. I was like, uh, okay, let's, let's make sure that we have the right set. Uh, there are like 10 different versions of Dominaria. And it turned out to be the our OG Dominaria. And then we had to check to make sure the price was okay. Because honestly, um, I thought maybe, oh wow, this is the old box. Maybe it's uh, quite valuable. No, it's still around $100, right? All in. So uh, yeah, very, very uh, fascinating. Uh, in my opinion, uh, a very kind of crazy scenario that it's playing out with... Uh, these boxes not being valuable. That being said, maybe you can take advantage of the boxes not being valuable. For me, for instance, uh, I'm just enjoying, you know, we signed a contract with the distributor and we're good for another year. There is no buy limits. There's no buy minimals or minimal order. And I can say that is uh, crazy, in my opinion, that you can just order as much or as little as you want now. And that's because the distributor no longer has a chokehold. So I didn't renew my distributor. I assumed that, okay, it's a year. You know, I, I don't own a store anymore. Um, you know, maybe I'm planning on opening a store. And at that point in time, I will talk to my distributor. But uh, yeah, they contacted me and said, hey, you know, are you interested in continuing the product, right? And I was like, no. Not really. Like, oh, but what if we gave you our 60 day out? I was like, what does that mean? Oh, well, we'll give you the product. You have 60 days to sell it. And if you don't, as long as you buy them 100, 100 item, so we buy blisters, 100 blisters, then we will sell them in a 100 blistered. Uh, then we'll take back a 100 blisters of the same set. And I was like, hmm, that is quite interesting because I have never been offered that before. It's always been kind of always on the distributor side the distributor side has always had obviously the uh, ability to just launch product yeah i have so i'm sitting on so much new campana it would make you sick if you know in, in terms it would make it makes me sick uh how much new campana i had to buy just so i could get collector's editions and that stuff and there was a uh, buying minimals and uh, I'm sitting on a lot of Dominaria United, which is good because Shedred is actually in the set. It's still a $100 retail card, um, so that's good. Uh, the new Campana, however, is very bad. I'm sitting on a lot of Crimson Vow, which is, you know, obviously a very, very bad set. Um, I do think that there is a opportunity to have fun with the game, to open cheap packs with your friends and my girlfriend, and to just have... A great time. Um, but for me, my distributor, things have changed, man. I am now a valuable member. Huh. Imagine that. You know, like, again, ima imagine it. You know, now I'm a valuable member. And they will uh, give me a lot of different terms. I've signed a contract. And terms have been very good. No minimal order. No $5,000 a month. Uh, no locking me out of different product, right? Especially Pokemon. The Pokemon side, if you were um, a small store ordering between five dollars to $10,000 a month, you got absolutely flayed by your distributor. Um, it wasn't even uh, close. I mean, it was pretty, it was, it was really, really ugly, in my opinion, what they were doing. But now we, as the game stores or whatever we are, we now have the advantage and they're aft. So. I think uh, that's good. I think that's good for us. I think um, in terms of what is happening right now, um, 
yeah, why not? I mean, I mean, it is quite impressive how not impressive. It's quite interesting how they flipped, and now they're just desperate to have anyone sign up, and there's no limits, and there's no requirement to have a bathroom or show your picture. No, it's just like okay, we need you, and um, I think that's great. I, I really think um that's fantastic right now to own and to be able to essentially uh to own and be able to get prices very cheap uh, magic i mean pokemon packs are two dollars a pack or 225 and that to me is just amazing um, during the great boon, I mean, you couldn't even buy Pokemon. No one was allowing you to buy Pokemon cards. That's why it was so strange when they gave me that contract. I was like, yeah, this is a, how can I say no? This is a fantastic contract. And I do not know, um, who would say no to this. Um, I am intrigued. I am interested and I'm definitely excited about what the future can hold we will see i mean we will see right what is happening right now in in magic the gathering but i can tell you right that um i can tell you uh that it is a fun time to open packs for your friends uh and what a time to be alive, right? What a time to be alive in our society where packs are, again, $2 a pack. I remember my favorite times in this game was when uh, it was GameStop. GameStop would have buy one, get one free packs. And I think they might be coming back. Now, at this rate, Scarlet and Violet will definitely be buy one, get one free packs, in my opinion. Because it is so, so cheap. Um... I'm pretty happy with where the game is at this moment in time. I don't really have any complaints. I think um, it is kind of interesting that the death of the card game or the card game being less money makes it more fun for players to open. Um, amazing. Really, really amazing. And... Just have fun, you know, buy these cheap packs, have fun with your friends, open the cheap packs. Why not? It's a great time to be a Magic the Gathering player, if that's what you care about. And it's a great time if you have a pack opening addiction. I've never seen prices this low since 2020. And that was the buy one, get one free pack era of GameStop. Where every holiday, it was, it was Black Friday, it was Thanksgiving... Every single holiday, they would have this deal where it was buy one pack, get the, the same cost pack for free. I think we're going back to that time, uh, especially with Pokemon, but even more so with um, no, even more so with uh, Magic the Gathering as well. The prices are such that distributors just got to dump the product, and if they have to take the L on the way down, they have to take the L on the way down. They got greedy. They paid a, a shit ton of money, right? And, you know, here now we have a situation where there's not that many people interested in buying this stuff anymore. Anyway, that is it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye, guys.